day 14 of Vlogmas. Thanks for joining us. Us. Me. I'm Jen. Uh, I'm going to bring you along today with what's going on. First things first, I need coffee because I got one sick kid. Uh, and I got one kid watching The Simpsons right now because it's 7, 8 a.m. And that's what's going on at our house. So that would be my husband being Homer. Um... So yeah, so time to get some coffee and get moving, and I'll open my advent calendar, take the little one to school, go to the gym, come back, and then I think we have some house stuff to do, making sure that the sick kid is fine, and um, we'll be going shopping for fabric for a banquet. So come along. It's not super Christmassy today, but I did have a Christmas cookie swap last night, so there are Christmas cookies that will make an appearance. Okay, okay. Hello, it is day 14, which again, I know what day it is by based on what the advent is. Um, there we go. This one is grapefruit dragon. Oh my goodness. Grapefruit dragon fruit spread. Let's see if I can get this out without killing my hand. I'm excited for this one. I like a grapefruit spread. There we go. Grapefruit dragon fruit spread. I think that's an interesting combo. So I'm excited to try this one. We'll see if I can maybe now, maybe a little bit later. We'll see. So I decided to go for a previous day's spread, pineapple yuzu. Um, which I think is going to be really good. And I love pineapple. So, time to start. Voila. Big thumbs up. Construction is still going on. And we just found out yesterday that we will be getting one of the rooms back. So we can put our Christmas tree up and, I mean, not today, but hopefully this week. So, it's loud, but I'm happy about it. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to work on my December sweater a little bit. Um, this behind me is my non-crafty bookcase. I shouldn't say that because it actually is crafty. It has a bunch of supplies here. I have a bin where I throw my swatches. I have a whole bunch of like cards and supplies and art supplies and some other old magazines. But I also have some vintage children's books. Um, basically ones that I loved as a kid that I have collected over the years. Um, but let me show you where I am on the sweater. So. Here we go. Ta-da! I have sleeves done, completely done. I have not woven an end yet because in case I need to pull it back and I'm working on the ribbing. Um, so I realized that a lot of times I make sweaters to um, wear with dresses, like I'm currently wearing my avalanche now with a dress. Um, but I don't have a lot that I can wear with jeans um, or pants. Um, so I need to make them a little bit longer to kind of cover the waistband. So like, I like that slightly cropped look, but let's be real. I'm 47. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, wear it cropped over my jeans the way that, the way that the youth do. So instead I'm going to make this so I can wear this with pants. Cause I think I'm more likely to wear it with pants than I am with a dress. So I'm working on the twisted rib which will take me a while, um, and we'll see how I do.
Hey guys, I am back from the gym, but I figured I would, before I sat down and knit, I figured I'd give you a little bit of a tour of my crafty bookshelf. I would not give you a tour of the rest of my room. Oh, actually, I'll do a quick little drive by because it's a mess and don't look at the boxes because this is what happens around Christmas time. I have moved all of my plants that are downstairs up here. Some of them are doing well. Some of them are not. That's all right. You can see the knots are on the bottom. That's probably why they're not doing well. But I have a huge collection of craft books. I've learned a lot from them. Um, up here, I have some of the vintage ones. I have a full set of creative, the family creative workshop that I got at a used book sale. Actually, at Lockerdaire's used book sale. Some Martha Stewart general crafty books. Some more... This is the sewing shelf here with some sewing books, the Singer Sewing Book, Martha Stewart, Sew You, some quilting books, including a couple from my friend Susan Beale, which I highly recommend, the log, Modern Log Cabin Quilting. It's great. Um, and then we go down to Bead Simple, also by Susan Beale, uh, and I have a project in that one as well from a number of years ago. She's a great craft writer. I love her. Um, and basket book and some weaving books, um, some needlepoint books. I have some embroidery books that are missing that I think I lent to somebody. I'll find them. Uh, I always save magazines, of course, and I have some softy books and then wool pets. These are some of my little kid knitting books, vintage knits. Uh, vintage Knits for Modern Babies. I haven't used a lot of these. Some Ami Um, I have some other custom knits. These are mostly top-down. The No Idle Hands is a History of Knitting, which I loved that book. I thought that was fantastic. Tennis Gray's Knit Local. And then this shelf, we have some old Rowan magazines from, oh gosh, I want to say 90s, early 2000s, um, Alice Starmore stuff, which has been reprinted, but at the time I got them, they were out of print. Poetry and Stitches is a beautiful, beautiful book. Art of Fair Isle. So these are all kind of like technique books. Um, my sock selection, which as anyone who has heard me go on and on and on about sock heels, this is a lot of where I got things from in addition to the internet. Um, and I love these threads books, uh, hand knitting techniques from when threads used to carry knitting content. Of course, um, the Mason Dixon ladies who've rebranded as Modern Daily, as is fitting for the times. Um, Rhinebeck sweater. And then here are some kind of technique and reference books. So cast on bind off, increase, decrease, an old, old, old manual of yarn craft, Mary Thomas's books, the knitting patterns that I've collected from Barbara Walker, which I love, the Japanese Knitting Stitch Bible, Beyond Knit and Pearl. And so the reference continues over here to the big books, Principles of Knitting by June Hemmons Hyatt, which as soon as that came back into print, I bought it. Knitting the Old Way by Priscilla Gibson Roberts. Designing Knitwear by Deborah Newton. Knitwear Design Workshop by Shirley Payton. Fantastic book. Dated designs, but the general concepts are solid in all of these books. Sweater Knitting in Plain English by Maggie Rigetti. Uh, Mont Stanley Knitter's Handbook. An Old School Vogue Knitting. I have a number of like self-hubbed, I hate to finish sweaters, guide to finishing sweaters. These I got in like the early 2000s or late 90s even. And then, of course, my Elizabeth Zimmerman collection, going into my Amy Herzog collection, going into my top-down knitting, including Knitting from the Top by Barbara Walker, Coco Knits, Modern Top-Down Knitting, Knitting hand or book, Handy Book of Patterns, the Ann Bud collection, Love. If you're getting into sweater knitting and fit, this shelf is the best the best um i also have some shaping shawls how to write knitting patterns knit mitts those are kate athley 
And then we have our spinning shelf down here with all of my, not all of my issues of ply. A lot of them are floating around the house, my making books, and then my hand spinning reference books, some of which are out of print, some of which are not. Spin Control, I think, is out of print. That's why it's a former library book. Uh, design, dyeing Spin and Knits. And then over to the left, we have years and years and years of interweave knits and spin-off magazines and then we go down to reference binders knitters knit it knit and style cast on vogue knitting vintage knitting magazines which i collect and then also these kind of like reference books i love that color book by victoria finlay so much so that i lent it out never got it back and bought a new one because it was great and then i also have some vintage mccall's things down there as well as some spinning stuff and my little notion thing. So that's my like crafty bookshelf. I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the tour of it. Okay, it's time to go fabric shopping for the banquettes. I'm on lovely Route 46 and I'm not sure if they're going to allow me to record inside. So if they do, you'll get to see it. If not, I'll talk to you about it later. But, um, let's see, I, we went fabric shopping and I picked up, uh, picked out a couple of really good options for the banquette fabric for our kitchen, which is still under construction. Um, and then I went and picked up Ollie from school and guess what? He has a fever. So now I have two sick kids. Um, I was going to see if I could join knit night uh, virtual tonight, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So I think I'm actually going to sign off here, even though it's a little bit early. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit further on my December sweater, um, while Ollie is in the bath, hopefully feeling better and, uh, check in on my invalids. 
Um, and cross your fingers that I don't get this because that's just what I need in December. It's just what all of us need in December. Um, but anyway, thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you had a good time. Um, I had a good time until everybody got sick. Great. Uh, and I will see you soon in a few days.